Round five of the Dexter Energy Triathlon World Championship Series here in Hamburg. And you can see the huge crowds on the side of the course already. They have numbered in the past well over a quarter of a million. And with the damp conditions, the women allowed to wear wetsuits. Maybe everyone should be allowed to wear wetsuits except number one, Haley Persil, who's got a huge gap about 30 seconds after 1,000 meters back to the chase group of women, including Emma Moffat. And you can see the chase women right there trying to get through. Parasol with an almost one minute lead solo out onto the bike. And here come the chase athletes, DeMarco, Moffitt into that bunch, Tremblay as well as they start to make their way out onto the course. And early on, Parasol went down in a crash on the very damp pavement. You can see Daniela Reef has ridden herself up into the lead group. Toth from Hungary down, part of the carnage of the tough day and the conditions. And partway through lap three, it's Moffitt, Norden, and Reef making a breakaway on this very damp conditions. And these class riders getting an almost 90-second gap back to the chase group of women, which includes Jody Swallow along with Ricardo Lisk, last year's champion on this course. Sarah Gruff having a bit of a tough time with a technical flat tire, having to make her own change at the wheel stop. And uh, clearly she's done this in the past with a great transition but you'd have to ride solo for much of the rest of the ride and late into the eight lap 40 kilometer ride it would be Daniela Reef along with her teammate and training sparring partner Lisa Norton who've been living up at high altitude along with Emma Moffat and back to the chase group they would have a 90 second gap Moffat off the bike two world championship victories already in 2009 and you have to think that things look great for her third here in Hamburg as the chase women would start to go after her, they would be 500 meters behind, 90 seconds down, and nobody would catch the talented Australian who already had a bronze medal at the Olympic Games to go now with what will be her third world championship victory in 2009. Daniela Reef right there holding on to a very solid third place finish, but the day would belong to the Australian, the third victory in 2009, and Moffat would claim the top of the podium. Norden would get on the podium for the second time in 2009, as well as Daniela Reef and the women who did so much of the work on the bike would be rewarded for a very courageous ride and take all three positions, the rainy conditions not impacting Moffat, Norden, or Reef as they would claim success here in Hamburg, Germany.